I'm a uni student that got all nines at GCSE and 40 stars at Layla. That's not a brag, but just to let you know that I know a little bit about getting good grades. And by the end of this video, I just want you to feel a little bit smarter about getting top grades and be a bit more confident about succeeding academically. Right, during year 13, I actually recorded how long I studied for. And on average, to get four A stars, I studied a little over one hour a day. And that is very much possible for 90% of people. The point I'm trying to make is that you just need to try to be a bit more consistent. And you don't need to do it every day. You could, in fact, just do three to four hours on Saturday and Sunday. And especially for A-level students, you most likely get a study free every single day. And these small efforts add up in the long term. The benefits are that you'll keep on top of the content. You won't stress as much or need to cram as much when it comes to exams and mocks time. And it takes very little effort. This does, however, require one particular quality discipline. You just need to set aside this time, focus during this one hour and be consistent in the long term. But this just means that you need to remove distractions and plan your week ahead. And this is not a hard and fast rule. I did skip days, but I did make sure that those hours were eventually covered up. But that did cause a bit more stress than it should have in the future. And I did four subjects. So that one hour could easily just mean like 45 minutes for you. And if you don't want to perfect everything and you just want to do, you know, the minimum, then that might just honestly be like 20 minutes. Next, I feel like many students waste a lot of time, but I've just shown you that I've studied one hour a day on average. Most people are distracted by their phones for half of it. Obviously, remove those distractions, but I also want you now to set some targets. Here's the process. The night before, on notes or on paper, I want you to write a checklist of goals that you want to complete the next day, and then sleep well, because sleep helps with everything, and the next day, Focus on the checklist. Then when you're ready to study or do your work, sit down, play some music if it helps and just get to work. You having a checklist will hopefully make you waste less time because hopefully your brain will be focused on completing those goals. One bonus tip here is to set an hour timer every hour and just aim to do one thing in the hour and keep that timer somewhere visible so it reminds your brain you need to get this done within an hour get back to work this mini deadline hopefully means that your brain won't daydream as much and means you will keep on task this method is better than having a pre-planned time because when you underestimate how much time a task takes then you'll get angry or you might overestimate it you might realize that I'm already like 70% through and I've got an hour left, I can just chill for a little bit. But then that means you start wasting time. Quick message, if you did learn something or feel like it has helped so far this video, then please subscribe. It does not do anything bad to you, but it makes my day. Thank you. Now, I am sure you have heard of Active Recall, but I don't think many YouTubers like me have said how they use Active Recall. So I'm gonna be telling you how I use Active Recall. So suppose we have just went through a topic and we have a topic test next lesson. Whilst we've been learning through the topic, I would have been doing my hour reviews each day. I just write out notes from a physics and math tutor. Me reading online notes and trying to rewrite it in my own words helps it sit in my memory a bit more comfortably. I then do the practice questions on a physics and math tutor. I go through the questions, read it in my head, and try and retrieve the information from memory. And when I'm done, I read the answer. I look for any underlying words because those are necessary to get the mark. I'm just currently bothered about what I have missed. If there's another marking point which I've missed, that's a knowledge gap. If there is a piece of knowledge that I've missed, I then write that down in my notes. But do that in a different color so it stands out when you reread your notes. Or if there's something that I've missed or didn't know but it's already in the notes, then I underline that, draw a box around it, or do exclamation marks, asterisks, or stars, just to make it stand out. So basically, I'm using the mark scheme to improve my knowledge. And then just repeat this. For past papers, do the exact same thing, but also look out for the additional guidance or whatever it is. I'd also look at the examiner's report for the papers, because in there, they'll probably talk about common mistakes students are doing, and they will 100% test that again on future papers and then when it comes to the topic test or the mocks when you get it back look through look at the mark scheme and if i did bad on certain bits in the topic test or on a certain question rewrite that in your notes in a different color to make it stand out for the future like it really is that simple and i know you can do it because i've been able to do it but i do understand that 
after school it can be a bit tiring to even just do an hour's work. So watch this video next to learn fixes for that. Bye for now.